lovely learners out there in learning land, Tyler from 10thumbspro.com, coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a lesson. Today we're breaking Come Together by the Beatles down, riff for riff, note for note, lyric for lyric. Printable tabs for this by becoming a Patreon, you'll see links up in the notes, links to the specific tab pinned in the first comment, as well as some timestamps to jump to the part of the lesson that you are learning. But you don't need to be a Patreon to learn. I'm going to have all the information on the screen. I'm going to make it easy and fun to follow along. So make sure you give it a like. Additional links in the description, including my email for some one-on-one -on -one lessons, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Okay, go ahead and grab your ukulele. Brain and attention span, let's come together and break this lesson down together. You and I in a little toy shop, 99 balloons come together let's rock it out come on in let's do it chords we're going to do the chords real quick feel free to skip ahead using the time stamps if you already know how to play these chords to jump to the part in the song that you want to learn okay chords first d minor a major g major and the only bar chord b minor Feel free to play a B minor seven if that's easier for you. Okay, so what we're gonna rock out with this one is the classic intro riff. The, the bass is playing and the guitar is playing over it and it sounds like this. So what I'm doing is, and that's, believe it or not, that's a D minor arpeggio showing you that arpeggios, if you're creative, can be some really, really cool and unique things. We start off with our D note two times on the C string here. So we play it one, two. Then we use our middle finger to slide up to the ninth fret, which is an A note. The D minor chord is D, F sharp, or F, A, D, F, A. So we have our D note, do, do, slide to our A note, and you guessed it, next note is an F, which is the eighth fret of the A string. One and two and three and four and. D note, 10th fret of the E string, and we're gonna take it, pluck it on the fourth beat and slide down. One, two, well, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And so that happens four times for the intro. So let's play through it four times. Now, if you wanted to, you could play that and sing it for the verse. But when it gets to the verse, I like to strum, and the rhythm, believe it or not, is just downs. So it's just one, one and two and three and four and. And you do that over the D measure for, or D measure, D minor for four measures. One, two, So eight downs for each measure. A, we do it two measures, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then you get to the G and you let it ring out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. After the first verse, you go back into the riff, and then you go into the second verse. Then after the second verse, you're gonna play a chorus. Well, let's let's actually, let's play through the first verse and put the lyrics up, and then we'll do the chorus. Here come a flat top pecan, moving up slowly, he got Joe, Joe eyeball, he won, holy roller, he got hair down, 
to be a joker he just do what it please you play through the second verse and then you get to the chorus for the first time and the chorus for the first time is where we're going to introduce the b minor and the b minor this is interesting we're going to do the b minor for three beats which means one and two and three and six downs then the a for two downs four and so we get one and two and three and four and one really cool one and two and three and four and one we get to the g and it's two beats which would mean four downs one and two and three you land on the third beat on the a and you let that ring out one and two and three four okay so one and two and three and four and one and two and three four do, do. Okay, so let's try to sing the chorus together. You got to be free. Come together right now over me. Okay, so there is one other part to the song that I almost forgot to mention, and it functions as a bridge in the middle of the song, and it also works as the coda, and it's a classic blues shuffle actually in D. We get something that sounds like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a D shuffle and an A shuffle, and each one lasts for four measures. In the end of the song, it works as a fade out, so you can really do it as many times as you want. For the D shuffle, you take your index finger or your middle finger and put it on the second fret of our C string, which is our D note. And we're gonna pluck the bass with our thumb and the index finger we'll use to pluck the high A string. And you do that one and, and then your middle finger comes down and grabs the second fret of the A, which is the B note, which makes a D5, D6. And this is that classic blue shuffle sound. One and two and three and four and. And so kind of a good way to remember it is anytime you put your finger down, it's two beats. So one measure would be finger off, on, off, on. And you do four measures of D. One, two, Three, four. Then we get to the A. And to do the A shuffle, it's actually very, very similar. You take your middle finger on the second fret, this time of the G string, and you're gonna pluck bass with this finger, and then your index finger will pluck the open E. And then you get your ring finger and put it on the second fret. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And that will happen um, four times, four measures. One, two, oops, one, two, three, four. So we put those two together and we get one, two, three, four, one, and two and three and four and. Three, four, here comes the change. Two, three, four. And right, then after that, it goes into the riff. So that's the final little piece. Why don't we put it all together in a full play along so like I said earlier, this song is a whole octave higher, so I'm trying to sing an octave below. The singing is not going to be the best, but again, the purpose of the singing is you as a learner to see how the lyrics in this piece has come together, um, just so you know, right? So the idea with this singing is to show you how all these pieces come together. I know it's not the best, but again, I'm not the singer in the band, okay? So let's go ahead and do the play along, and let's put everything together. He come moving up slowly. He got Joe, Joe eyeball. He won. Holy 
bowler he got hair down to to his knee got to be a joker he just do what it please Shoe shine, he got toe jam football. He got monkey finger. He shoot Coca Cola. He say, I know you, you know me. Well, one thing I can tell you is you got to be free. Come together right now over me. You can feel his disease Come together Right now Over me You got the whole song. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the tutorial. Catch you next Wednesday or Saturday. Think about becoming a Patreon. Take care. Excellent, everyone. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the tutorial here at 10 thumbspro.com. We appreciate you trusting your learning to us and we appreciate you rocking and rolling with us. Keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on loving life. Mahalo. And we'll catch you next Wednesday or next Saturday for next lesson. Take care of yourself.